My name is Farmer Chippy. I'm from the Plantation Park Heights, 3811 Park Heights Avenue, down the block from Pemico. We run an urban farm. We're about to grow 65,000 pounds of food to feed our community. You don't have to pay for the food. Show up. If you can't cook it, we'll cook it for you. We ask that you show up. Come show up. Come spend some time with your neighbors. It looks pretty good. My name is Joshua Day. I'm the executive director of Mission Fit. Uh, my name is Wes Jameson. I'm the director of development here at Mission Fit. For me, Mission Fit is really uplifting the community of Baltimore. Definitely the loot, the youth, you know, minority, specifically black, me, myself. Um, I kind of understand the struggles that we go, whether we're in less fortunate or even fortunate places. So I kind of want to be a space where we can develop and approach problems that, you know, kids are going through, you know, and that's what I want to really just make it, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, that's kind of why our mission statement is, you know, strengthening Baltimore's youth. How do you define strength? That's different from different people, um, especially at different phases in their life. So that's the space that I want to develop mission for. My name is Nkenja Yassin. I'm a child development specialist for Busy Bees Child Care Center, um, which is an umbrella under Learning How. Um, I have been work doing this work for over 17 years. I have my degree in, in psychology and early childhood development. Um, my goal in working with children and my passion is empowering the whole family and not just the child. So providing resources for the family as well as the children um, as a means to grow the entire family. I'm Major Gene Hogg. I'm the Area Commander for Central Maryland for the Salvation Army. And one of our new programs that we've established this year is the do, uh, Doing the Most Good uh, Food Store. We call it the DMG Food Store. Uh, and it was basically birthed out of the issue of knowing that in our inner cities we have a problem with uh, food deserts, food insecurity, food knowledge, fresh, fresh food availability for individuals. Uh, and so we thought we could enter into this uh, space and really make an impact on our communities. What excites me most about the Foods Program is that uh, with our fledging model of the DMV Foods, that uh, I'll have access to individuals, uh, experts in different fields that can come alongside of us and help us improve our business model and our outcomes. I like how you have brought together a lot of the resources in one space. It's like shared resources come together to do the same thing. And then you've reached back and bring those who aren't fortunate enough to have all the resources together with those people. That's something like what we want to do. So we really like that approach. We think it's the way forward, collaboration. What excites me most about the Boost program is um, putting the pieces together between my passion and the business aspect. My top goals for when the event is over. What I want to do is 30, 60, 90 day plan. In 30 days, I want to be able to get to know those people who I've met really well. In 60 days, I want to put the plan that we've put together, I want to get that together. And in 90 days, I want to be ready with my team to execute. That's really what we want to do because we feel this opportunity is once in a lifetime. So I really want to learn the business fundamentals of sustaining a business. We've been in business um, for the past seven years and we want to learn how to grow. To get exposure so that um, People know what we're doing here, how we're working with families um, to empower the whole family as a whole and not just the child. Um, so, and then the third one would be to create a model um, using this center as a prototype for other centers in urban communities or low income communities um, to have quality childcare. Um, my top goal would be to uh, develop a, um, a well thought out revenue model that builds on revenue streams that we already have, um, thinks creatively um, and sustainably about what those, those revenue streams are, what they're going to be in the future, um, and how we become more sustainable. What I hope to achieve uh, from the Boost program is, is that uh, we take all the experience and all the knowledge that our mentors uh, have given to us, put them into practical terms so that we can grow this model, not just here in Baltimore, but across the entire country to really impact the food insecurity problem that our nation is experiencing. 
the anxieties I have about coming into the Boost program is that I'm going to be paired with uh, professionals and experts in different fields uh, that I know I'm severely lacking in. And, and, and moving into an area like this and on the scope that we're looking at, and not just here locally but nationally, I'm going to be faced with my ignorance every day. Uh, so I got a lot of anxiety about that, but I also know that the people that I'm going to be paired with are going to help us with that and really be a true learning experience. And so the anxiety, I believe, will turn into excitement. <laughs> no anxieties at all. Extra eager, you know, really willing and, and, and able to do a lot. When I meet these people, I want to bring these people to my venue with my, my neighbors and my friends and my volunteers so they can transfer what they know to them directly. And then if there's a glitch in between, I'm here to interpret. <laughs> that, is, that is it right there in a nutshell. <laughs>